TCM is struggling. It's not in the greatest place. I think we got to talk about realistically, not, not all this family victims fighting, but like, what are the problems and how we actually can fix this game? Guys, we're going to be together as one unit here. Yeah. Okay? Can we all agree? Can we agree? No, we can't <laughs> because I I actually, this segment, I was going to rant. This I'm going to be honest. This guy prepping before the pod. I was calling him on the way to work. I was like, dude, this guy's going to light people up. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready to do a full on rant because I, you go through comments and most like 95% are like, everyone is reasonable. That other 5%. You're idiots. <laughs> With all due respect. All due respect. No, people, I mean, not everyone's idiots, but like people get so fixated on this like family victims. Like if we say like family needs fixes, it's because we're family means. If we say victims, then yo, your victim means you just, you know, oh, the you know, family just complains. Victims just complain. Everybody whines. And that actually is the truth. Everyone whines. Well, yeah, I think what it is is people honestly have a hard time seeing the other side. If you just play one side, then that's just all you know. And that's all like, you just want to hear people saying things that you believe. Let me just say this. Okay. This, you guys all listen, listen carefully. The best state this game has ever been in was in my opinion, when hands came out, Oh, it was, great. It was I feel like it was the best balance. The lobbies were great. Things were re like really good in the world. We were right? on top of the world. What changed? Victims got more powerful. They gave the victims buffed and nerfed the family, and then the game went to shit. <laughs> Dude, I mean, but honestly, like, the lobbies were really bad, and it was difficult for the family. And, yeah. what, and, they, and we're talking about when they made the Grandpa Perks leveled, right? Yeah, and again, you have to look at and it's not family victims. It's like, I'm specifically right at this point talking about the lobbies. Like, if you can't even get in the game, that's going to create a huge problem because people aren't going to stick around. Well, and and... We have to understand, yes, there's the backfill issue with the lobbies, but I honestly think the majority of the issue comes from people not playing family. Yeah, and I we talked about that before where it was like, is it the lobby fill issue or is it that there's just not a family? And I think it was clear with the hands when he came out, there was no lobby problems. And that's because a lot of people were playing family. Right. And the family was super powerful and you may say overpowered, but who cares? It's a horror game. Like you don't, you shouldn't escape every time. Yeah. Like, I mean, whatever it's however the game develops, but it needs to have that family needs the power. That's what gets people to keep playing family. keeps the game in a good state. You get where I'm going with this? Yeah, no, I, well, I mean, we've said it before. It's like, you need family players because here's the thing. If you just jump into a game as a victim, I, I don't need other victims to even be good. I mean, it helps when people actually get out of the basement or else it's going to be really hard. But you can just jump, the majority of the time jump into a victim game and have fun, whether you die or you don't, or if you escape, I have a good time playing. Family's not necessarily that way. Family, you jump in, and if you're not with the right group, say if someone doesn't know what they're doing, it can be just, it's just not fun where everyone's getting out and you have no control over anything and you just got run on. Yeah, and that's not a fun experience. No, you're totally right. And the way the meta is right now, we have the rush meta and just, I mean, just think about it. Okay. Like, whether or not you agree, like, it should rush. And I'm not knocking you for playing this way, okay? If you're a victim, play however the heck you want. I'm talking from the overall perspective, okay? Big picture. Big picture. How fun is it for the family, or even, even as a victim, to be honest? I'm sure it is fun to escape, but, like, think about it. You wait for this lobby. Right now, the lobbies take forever. You finally get in a match. You're a rusher. You, you open the gates. You're a Connie. You pop locks. You do your... Uh, proficiency thing yeah you do the battery in eight seconds you're out the gate you're gone right best case scenario right now whatever now all the that family the game's over they probably have a couple dc <laughs> <laughs> the match is done in like five minutes so your point is that like it's not even fun from a victim to get out so quick because one it wasn't challenging uh, really and then now you're just back in the lobby waiting again right and i'm that's an extreme perspective i get that doesn't happen every match that's not like i'm just saying that is like a meta that's in this game right now the biggest thing i think we have to do in this game is incentivize the family because we need family players whether or not you think they should be buffed and you're a victim main and you're gonna say that they just whine it doesn't matter because if you don't have them in the game the lobbies are horrible well, if you don't have family members in the game, you don't have a game. <laughs> right. And that's the problem. Like, can we all agree that is a problem right now? There's not enough people playing family. I think so. Yeah. Have you had any lobbies not fill because you couldn't get a victim? You know, 
Uh, no. But let's go over like what I think are some ways that need to be fixed. Now we've already talked. I we don't have to go in too in depth on this. Like we've said, obviously, family should spawn with the victims at the same right. time because it, they get that head start. So basically, come combat the whole rushing. Right now, the choose fight. So what choose fight, you get in those close encounters or backstab, that's where the family gets stunned. Yep. And I believe it's uh, five seconds, the total, the max time on level three. Okay, I can't It remember. feels like forever, though. So that, to me, has got to be brought down. I think that needs to be like two seconds or something, like or three. Like, the way you get stabbed and you have to stand there while they do objectives in front of you, I think it's really frustrating as a family player. I think that makes a lot of family guys, like, pissed off. And it's not really a fun, I wouldn't say it's a fun mechanic. The close encounters, the victims shouldn't have the advantage. Like as the family, we shouldn't have to have a perk to we? protect it. We? <laughs> You're right. I'm I'm a family man now. Main. I gave Is it, it away, guys. Gave we it found away. him. <laughs> we caught him. <laughs> as the family, though, there's no reason family should have a perk that you have to run with grandpa to protect you from close encounters. Because I, the victims, to, in my opinion, they have the advantage off the rip. Well, if you don't do anything. They have the advantage in a close encounter. Let me know if I'm wrong, if you think different, but I think the family has to be powerful. That's what creates the horror part of it, you know? Yeah, <laughs> like, you right. need to be afraid and not, like, I might not escape this game. The endurance, I think that's a good fix overall for victims. I think that's the way the victims should be. Like, it was messed up, right? Yeah. Their whole endurance. But the problem is they brought it in with that proficiency right now to where you can do the battery. If your proficiency is high, you can do the battery really quick. They brought it in together to make it like the victims now are kind of too powerful. They're fast <laughs> and they can shut off batteries super fast. And <laughs> the choose and the close encounters is kind of on their side and with the stuns. It's it's a tough, it's tough for the family. That was victims. So victims, those are kind of like the issues I think that need to be addressed. And part of that too is they need to like address stealth. Like stealth has no play in like I don't. Nobody uses it. It's like an attribute that's just kind of useless. It is weird, right? They built this this thing into the game that is not even being used, nor has it been like, they haven't done anything to make anyone want to use it. Yeah, I think this game should be more focused on your endurance and your stealth. Like, how fun would it be to play this in a really, like, you could actually use that stealth to your advantage to where you can really sneak through a map and if you're like really stealthy, you can get away with it. On the family side, you mean your side? <laughs> <laughs> no. So the family side, no matter how you look at it, they, we got a little bit of a, a nerf. Like yeah, the, the grandpa, grandpa perks a nerf because you used to be able to work together as a team and you know you can get externals up and you can get no one escapes hell. And maybe that was too overpowered. Um, but the way they did it now, it's kind of still not quite there. Family, like you said earlier, the victims, you can solo queue and still have a good time. Family, you can solo queue, wait in these lobbies. You can still get stuck in a lobby and wait. Usually oh, you have yeah. better lobbies, but you can get in these matches and just have, you know, either new players on your team going up against good victims. And you can just have a horrible experience. If you don't have one killer or one family member, excuse me. If you have one family member who's on their game or if they're just not paying attention, if they're new, it will ruin the game because it then one, I mean, one side of the map's just wide open and everyone's just gone. Yeah. And I think we need to focus on like making it so that you can solo queue in the family and still have work together and not get just run on all the time. Yeah. The game needs to be fun for even beginner and just casual players. Yeah. Right? Isn't, that, isn't that the point? We don't need it just to be good for the top level. I guess really what I'm saying is we need to make it so that that guy, the ran, the the guys that are casual that are just like jumping into this game, that they can jump in his family and not have just these bad experiences. Yeah, because that we, I mean, all it is, I just want the family to be incentivized that people are jumping into the game and playing it. You have to make people want to play. It is like a very immersive horror game. And I think we got to stick to that part of it. It plays like you're in a movie. Yeah. And that's what's great about it. And we need to like stick to that part of it. You know what I mean? That tension, that fear. That's what makes it so good. Less of these goofy stabbing and struggling with the, the killers. <laughs> you got to keep the family powerful. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think the stealth is great. I Like I said, I think making the victims key. I think stealth should be some. I would love it if stealth was like something that you're like, oh, I want to put my points into stealth, you know, and play stealthy and fast. I mean, the question I, I want to say, but I know you don't have the answer is how do you do that? 
I'm not a developer. <laughs> <laughs> See, we can we can tell our issues with it, but we don't have the solution. And I, I mean, that's the thing. It's like it's a complicated solution, I feel like, which is why when they make changes, they make small ones because you don't want to throw off the whole ecosystem of the game, which they did when they screwed up the grandpa perks. Yeah. Oh, oh.